When you find something that just excites you and ignites that little bit of passion, especially like when it comes to something educational and can benefit your children. I mean, you sort of grab a hold of it, don't you? And run with it. And, you know, over the years as I've been teaching and tutoring and all of that, I've really come to this whole skills-based learning and how much I love it, like really love it. And that is why I am doing this series on skills-based learning. So we've looked at what is it and how does it work? Well, today I wanna look at how do we incorporate it? Hi, and welcome to Learning Life, and thank you for joining me in this fun little series on skills-based learning. And thank you as well for watching my other videos. You know what, it really means a lot to me that you take time to subscribe and to like and to leave comments. And it's not too late to subscribe, you can do it. Well, I love skills-based learning. Do you remember, like I've been talking that formula that I sort of have in my mind that works really well, the four C's and the three R's, which make a good, well-rounded educational experience. The four C's of creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication, and then our reading, writing, arithmetic. And when we can put them together, when we shift that priority from being content-based, just purely content-based and focus on the skills that are supported by this rich, rich uh, information that is there, then we do have a great experience. And yes, we can do it based on what the peers are learning in school, or we can do it interest-based. There are so many ways around it. So it works well, but how can you incorporate it? Because you think, you know what, but I have this homeschool curriculum that I love, like I love, and I get that, you know, when you find something that you love, you hold on to it. And maybe this curriculum is supporting you well. You know, it's easy to run with, your children are learning, they enjoy it. But you're sort of thinking, well, but I'd like some more skills based learning in there. Can I incorporate more skills based learning into a curriculum that I love? Absolutely. Like it's, it's super easy. It really honestly, is super easy to incorporate. Remember I said, you know, we acquire our skills, we gain our skills through practice. You know, we practice and we get better, we get stronger. And so it is taking maybe what they are learning and adding a few little extra activities into it that builds it up. And of course, you don't have to do everything all the time. Maybe you think, oh, this month I would really like to focus on the skills of communication. And you sort of go, hmm, okay, so we could be doing this. You know, maybe they could give an extra oral report on what they've been learning. Or, you know, they've more written communication. I would like them to write a story based on what we've seen. Again, so many ways that we can incorporate. Really, it's looking at the skill and coming up with some ideas. Like that's what it is. And a lot of things are, are already in there, but we can take it that one step further to provide that practice. You know, I love doing things like they've read a novel and then you say, oh, are there some questions that you would like to ask the author? Maybe you could write a letter to the author. If they're dead or not, it doesn't matter. You don't have to mail it, but to ask them certain questions about like the novel or the process or things like that. Or maybe you can have some fun and come up with an alternate ending to this story. That is always a good one. So you're building up on these different skills. We can do this with a complete curriculum package. Like that's not a problem at all. You just add in these opportunities. Or maybe you think, I really want to work on collaboration, you know, doing better about working together. Well, get together with your other homeschool friends and come up with some activities that they can be doing to be working on like teamwork. And it still can be content based on that. Like, oh, we're going to study and learn this part together. How can you do this together? Can you come up with a presentation together? That's collaboration. That's teamwork. You know, so we can incorporate it so easily just by slotting in those opportunities to practice. Now, let's say you're not homeschooling because you know what? Many people don't. Many people do, many people don't. It's entirely up to you, but you still can incorporate skills-based learning at home, even if your child is in school all day. Again, it's providing those opportunities for practice. Maybe you're thinking, you know, they're not really good with planning, you know, especially, oh, they've got an assignment coming up. And honestly, in all my years of tutoring and working with, you know, older students, especially our teens, 
planning an assignment is a big deal. And they don't really know how to break it down into the smaller tasks and then build it up and assign dates and all of this, that and the other. So these are things that you could be doing at home, like actually teaching those skills of planning. And it can be as easy from meal planning for the week or to creating to do lists and checklists that they can be following and repeating. Remember, the more we repeat, the easier it becomes. Or maybe it's sitting down and helping them going, oh, you've got an assignment due in three weeks. Let's break it down and plan and build it up. Again, so many easy ways that we can incorporate. Have family game nights, board games, charades, Pictionary, like all of these different things. These are great ways to incorporate our skills, even if our child is not homeschooling with us. Have discussion time around the dinner table. You know, not just how was your day? What did you learn? But providing opportunities for delving deeper into subjects, into presenting opinions, thoughts, you know, oh, you read this. How does that make you feel? Get that critical thinking in there, providing those opportunities for practice. That's how easy it is to incorporate. Now, I know that sometimes people are like, well, you know, I like my child's school and like they're doing really well there, but... I do like skills-based learning. Could my school incorporate it more? You know, probably. You know, schools are bound by like how much they have to do and time and all of these different things. And I get that. I mean, schooling and teaching in school and multiple classes and all of these children, you feel like you're juggling sometimes. But we can incorporate more skills-based learning in there. And that's really you being proactive as a parent and stepping in and maybe talking to the, the classroom teacher or, you know, talking to the school administrator or the PTA, whatever it is is that you feel like, hey, are there some ways that we can build in some more activities for our children to be practicing these skills rather than just focusing on content? You know, and when we can maybe have skills-based activities, we can assess in a different way. Now, I did do a video on like assessing and are we assessing too much? You know, assessment to me is a is a big thing. Are we testing too much? Do we assess? I like to be able to see how are they growing? How are they developing? And that's, it's easier in my mind to assess skills-based learning because you see, are they grasping this? Do they get it? Can they apply it to other areas? So you want to incorporate it in your child's school? Be proactive, be a voice, make suggestions, be willing to give some of your time to assist because quite frankly, a lot of teachers do just feel overwhelmed with how much they have to do already. But if you could help them out on this, especially if it's something you're passionate about, they will say yes. So We're going to next week have a fun little craft video because, you know, fine motor skills are great. And then what I want to do is look at four different areas and some activities in each of those to show how easy it is to incorporate skills-based learning, how we can have some fun with it. And guess what? Your children might not even know that they are learning always a good thing. So stay tuned for that. And if you have questions about skills-based learning and you know, you're like, oh, maybe this is something gelling with me. I'd like to know more. Please reach out. I would love to open a dialogue with you, share with you my even more of my thoughts and, and where I've been getting a hold of things in the research and why I see that it works. Again, you know, in classrooms, in tutoring one-on-one with my own children, with watching other families that are doing this, it really is is fun and there are so many little nuances to it so feel free to reach out well thank you for watching today and if you love these videos and would like to see more you can help us you know support us in that and you can do that by becoming a champion check that out at patreon.com or at my website learningthis.life this